Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you guys for calling us to worship those silver trumpets. And um, so I'm going to read a psalm for Tom Clark and for Jim McMillan. I don't know he's my shepherd. I lack nothing. He has me lie down in grassy pastures. He leads me by quiet water. He restores my inner person. He guides me in right paths for the sake of his own name. Even if I pass through death dark ravines, I will fear no disaster, for you are with me. I have to tell you something. I spend a ton of time alone, probably almost more than anybody you know. And I know sometimes people hear this and they almost feel bad for me. Please don't pity me. My time alone is precious. I'm, first of all, I'm never alone. Because whenever I'm alone, that's when I'm most present with the Lord. And he tells me things that nobody else could tell me, and he takes me places that nobody else can take me. So um, you have to get alone to get with the Lord. So um, I love that where it says, I will fear no disaster for you are with me. Man. Your rod and your staff, obviously, rod speaks about authority, but the staff speaks about comfort. They reassure me. You prepare a table for me even as my enemies watch. You anoint my head with oil from an overflowing cup. Goodness and grace will pursue me every day of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord for years and years to come. <clears throat> I am convinced. I am convinced that I will see Terry and Elise again. I mean totally convinced more convinced than I, I'm convinced that I'm standing right here telling you this. If you were to dare believe what this book says, it will change your life forever and ever. If you will dare believe it. And once you do, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful life. Just beautiful. So, with that being said, Father, thank you for your Shabbat. Thank you that you choose to set aside a day and clear your schedule so that we could just feel like an only child. Father, I know Jim, and I know Tom very well, and I know the pain that they're going through. And I know yesterday after the last piece of chicken was eaten and the potato salad was gone, everybody goes back to their normal life. But Jim goes back to an empty heart and an empty house. And Father, I know people are going to tell Jim... Terry's dancing with Yeshua, and if Jim was honest, he would say, that's great, but I want to dance with Terry. So, Father, would you please do what you do best? What we don't see, will you comfort him with your staff? Will you lead him beside quiet waters? Will you assure him that Terry is in good hands? And will you let him know that they will be reunited soon? I ask the same thing for Tom, Father and especially for little Jackson. I pray all this in Yeshua's name. Amen. Shabbat shalom, everybody.